Hey guys, happy fourth YouTube anniversary! Woohoo! Gosh, I can't believe it's been four years of making roll videos for you guys! Wow, that's crazy! So yeah, four years of me making videos, not necessarily of me playing FGO, but you, you, got, you guys get it. So, in tradition um, of my very first roll video, I will be doing one key to Sean ritual on the featured servant of the Kadaya Boys Collection, which this year happens to be Amakutsa Shiro. Woohoo! Uh, before we begin, though, I wanted to make an announcement. Ta da! I will be doing Arjuna Rolls March 7th at 8 p.m. So basically, once rollover happens. Um, I will be going for MP5, possibly MP6 if he feels like being kind to me. So look forward to that. I will be uh, hosting the upcoming live stream announcement uh, over the weekend. So yeah, be sure to look out for that. Um, as well as that, I also wanted to show you guys this uh, special ta -da, little plushie I had made. So here it is, little Arjuna. <laughs> He's going to be joining me for the Arjuna summoning roll, so yeah, look forward to it. Alrighty, so let's get started. I have a few other announcements to make, but I'll make that at the end of the video. So yeah, let's see if we can get anything. As usual, as usual the Kitashan ritual is 5 singles and then a 10 or 11 summons at this point, so let's get started. Ooh, starting out with a gold. Ooh, a saber. Hey, Tsuna, that's right, he's on raid up as well. Excellent, I don't know if he's actually MP5 or not, so I guess at the end we'll go ahead and increase his noble phantasm level. Let's go ahead. Ticket number two. Ooh, another saver, but this time it is Fergus. Alright, and number three. Ooh, another servant! Wow! <laughs> Lots of servants and these tickets. Mute. I forgot to check if uh, if we can get um, story lock servants or not. Because I know generally they stopped doing that for Valentine's Day. Oh nice! Got one of the uh, three star CEs. I definitely want to get all of the uh, Craft Essences, that's for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and lock that one. Oh gosh, was that number three? I think that was number four. So this should be number five. <laughs> oh boy. Because yeah, generally for the Valentine's Day, they took away the story locked female servants, but I think you can still get the story locked male servants. I'll go ahead and check that. Uh, right now. Okay, yep, that was five. And... Oh no, I can't scroll. <laughs> oh, my game crashed! Oh no! Alright, I guess we're uh, not checking. <laughs> wow, I think that was the first time my game has ever crashed using the uh, Samsung decks. <laughs> first time for everything. At least it wasn't during a roll, though, so that's nice. Ooh, someone's using my uh, Skahawk for the event. Alright, <laughs> let's not check, and I guess we'll just find out as we roll. Anyways, we did the uh, 5 singles, so let's go ahead and do the 10 summon. But yeah! So, um, let's talk a little bit about what's happening for the live stream. So I do currently have an MP4 Arjuna, but I will most likely try to go for MP6. 
Now, obviously, the main reason, of course, is to get all of his unpen skills unlocked. But also, I have nine USOs. So if you consider that lucky or unlucky, that's kind of the uh, situation I'm in. Oh, nice. Got another copy of the three star. Nice. So, but yeah, so once I get that last copy, that MP6 copy of Arjuna, I'll be able to guarantee myself... Oh, awesome! Woohoo! Getting all the CEs. But yeah, I'll basically be... But this it? <laughs> Round table on ice! Oh, that CE is so pretty. Nice. But yeah, I'll basically be able to guarantee a 5 star that I want to pull. And... On Twitter, I put up a poll, should I do it for Koyanskaya, should I do it for Oberon, what do you guys think? And the majority of people said I should do it on Koyanskaya, mainly because Oberon will be having four stars um, on his banner as well. Which, you know, is a very solid argument, I can't, uh, I can't deny that. Though honestly, I kind of want the um, anniversary five star CE as well, and obviously if I don't roll for her, I can't get it, so it's like, mm, <laughs> do I roll? Do I not roll? Do I just throw enough rolls to get the CEs? Or so I'm kind of in that uh kind of in that predicament, so we shall see um what I do. You know, I might throw like a couple rolls at the events banner just to get the CEs, but um yeah, we'll see. Um if I do magically happen to get Koi and Skya, then um yeah, I'll just save the USOs for someone else down the line, so... Oop, we're getting a gold! Alright! Wow, two gold servants! Oh, another saver! Is it another Tuna? Hey, another Tuna! Can't complain! Nice! Well, this is actually a pretty good, uh, pretty decent roll. Let's go ahead and lock these. Um, since I will be doing the Arjuna rolls, I will definitely be getting a lot more CEs to come, so I'm not too worried about not getting any of the 5 stars so far. But yeah, let's just go ahead and check the uh, Tuna real quick. Right? Oh, nice! So he is now NP4. You know what? For one key to Sean Ritual, that is amazing. I will take it. <laughs> nice, gonna take a screenshot real quick. Awesome. Alrighty, so that's it for the rolls. So. Um, now I'm basically going to go into um, some of my other announcements. So, unfortunately the first one is kind of a little bit of a bummer for me. Um, I am going to basically be giving up on my Collector EX status. So, you know, basically as you guys all know, rolling is very hard to do. And this year in particular, there is a lot of good servants coming out, which means... Um, yeah, I need to basically pick and choose. So, um, some of you may or may not know, but... Oh my gosh, I just noticed Santa Karna! With the, <laughs> with the Valentine's Day! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> I'm gonna have to play with that later, but... Anyways, basically the only servant that I have been missing is the Summer, um... The Summer... And Bon and Mary Reed, so... Yeah, even if you look at the filters, like, that's just filtering out the special, um, basically filtering out the bosses, so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, basically the only one I don't have. And it's not like I don't like them, it's just that they've just never shown up or were a high priority, so, yeah. But, yeah, it's like I'm so close, but at the same time I might have to give up just trying to go for every servant. So, Yeah. So that does mean I will be rolling less. So um, the first one that will be affected by this is actually the upcoming Galatea rolls, unfortunately. So I will not be rolling for Galatea or that banner in general. And I'm also going to give up the first Morgan banner. We'll see if I can actually give it up because, uh, cause, yeah, Morgan is very cool. But I do know she comes back later. So, you know, 
whether I roll for her this year or maybe next year will honestly depend on how the rolls go for some of these other servants. So, unfortunately, I won't be going for them. Um, good news, though, I do plan to go for Miss Crane and, of course, Melusine before Anniversary. Because, oh my gosh, we know how broken Melusine is. And, of course, Miss Crane just seems like really fun and I really like her design and everything. So, definitely going to go for her. Um, obviously, a little bit afterwards, uh, we have, after Anniversary, we'll ha be having, of course, Oberon and, of course, the Summer Gauntlet. And Summer, I do want to try to go for all the servants again, so whew, wish me luck on that. Um, unfortunately, this announcement also means that this applies to my FGOJP account as well. Uh, I plan to go basically F2P for the foreseeable future on that account. Um, since it's more of a secondary casual account to begin with, it, you know, makes sense. Par the core. Um, also, there was a really cool servant introduced or previewed, I should say, in the JP Valentine's Day event. So I plan to save everything I can for when he eventually gets released. So uh, yeah, look forward to that. So unfortunately, that's like my one bummer announcement. But my one fun announcement is that um, I will be streaming more. Um, as I said before, when um, I got this model and got the setup working, was um, I plan to do more farming streams just like I did for Cardamus. Unfortunately, we just haven't had a farming event since Cardamus, so of course I haven't been streaming because there's no nothing to farm. But coming up relatively soon, we have the Hunting Quest as well as Nero Fest coming up, and I will definitely be farming both of those, so look, <laughs> look out for those. Those will be really fun to do. Also, now I can hear uh, people saying, but Soma, what about Summer? What about Summer? Yes, I will also be farming Summer as well. But, um, yeah. Basically, um, I will need to farm outside of Summer as well. Because just looking at what I need for my servants and upcoming servants who I want, for Dragon Fangs alone, I'm going to need 1,200 Fangs. So 1,200. And even if I farmed a thousand bronze chests, you know, because basically the materials are split between five different, five different materials in summer, and they're all random. If it's an even split, even if I farm a thousand bronze chests, I'll only get two hundred fangs from that. So, needless to say, me farming particularly dragon fangs for hunting quests. <laughs> will not be that big of a deal because I just need so many that even if I go nuts for summer I still won't be able to get enough so so yeah just a heads up that uh that that won't be a problem for me I also recommend um, anyone to figure out what mats they might need for summer as well like going into summer and looking at these other farming events because even though summer is really good for farming especially the gold mats uh, you still might need more materials for the bronze and silver mainly because you need so much more of those than the gold mats so yeah so i would just say do your do your research um figure out what you need for your account because you might not get everything you need for summer i know people have been hyping summer like crazy but you know just look at your account what you know you can and cannot farm and you know work from there <laughs> do what you need from there um, a question I had for all of you, though, is would you guys be interested in me streaming uh, FGOJP? Um, basically, that account I'm still building. I still play it casually. I just finished uh, Babylonia um, about a week or so ago. I need to still need to go through Solomon. But would that be something you guys would be interested in watching? Um, basically, me going through story. Obviously, I skipped the story. But, you know, unlocking nodes, I'm building servants, because I need to build a lot of servants to go into the Lost Belts. My, my account is definitely not ready for uh, Lost Belt content. But, um, yeah, I'm just curious if that's something you would be interested in as well. As well as probably, you know, casually farming on NA, you know, at the same time. Like, oh, hey, I have a stamina bar. Let's, you know, go finish some free quests or whatever. Uh, so just just curious if that's something you guys would all be interested in. 
Um, let's see. Da, 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 taking a look at my notes. Oh, also for my upcoming live stream, let me know if you have any questions. Um, since it's going to be a big rolling stream, um, I'll be able to answer questions while the rolls are going. So feel free um, below just to let me know if you have any questions for me about my account. Um, you know, whatever you want within reason, basically. Um, so yeah, just, you know, ask away and I'll be sure to answer what I can uh, during the live stream. So look forward to that and also bring your questions to the live streams too. You know, it's definitely fun to chat with you all. And yeah, I think that's it for me. So once again, thank you guys so much for sticking with me for all these years. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it has been four years and you guys are still watching my videos. <laughs> you guys are so awesome. Thank you so, so much for joining me in this, uh, in this adventure and hopefully for many more to come. So um, yeah, here's to another awesome year. We have a lot of insanely good meta servants coming down the line this year. So look forward to that. And I will see you guys on Tuesday night for Arjuna Rolls. <laughs> so see you then. Bye now. <laughs>